It's only me that's being recorded. Right, oh gang, let's come down to the floor. And we're going to come down to all floors. Oops. And I'm going to move my mat this way. Actually, see. So, all fours on the mat, and this is going to be slow mode Pilates tonight because my energy levels have gone kaput. Right, so we're just going to cat and cow that spine all the way up and then take it through. Just move that spine, check it all feels okay. Now, if coming down to all fours does not feel great for you, remember you can always put cushions under your knees, uh, cushions under your hands. Or it is perfectly possible to turn yourself over onto your back and do exactly the same thing, but lying on your back. Brilliant. From here, we're going to bring it into our tabletop position. And from here, we're going to take it into our Superman. So we're going to lengthen. We're going to lift, lower, and return. We've got 10 in total, five each side. So taking it long, taking it up and down. Now think about that connection. The back's not moving, pelvis isn't tilting. Two. And two. And three. And three. And four. And four. And five. And five. Brilliant. From here, we are going to walk the hands, one hand span further forward. Okay. Now, keeping the hips above the knees, we are going to bring the elbows down to the floor. We're going to exhale, straighten the elbows up. So we don't rock backwards and forwards, but we're bringing the forearms down to the floor. Exhale, straighten them back up. We'll bring them down and then up. We've got 10. That's seven. That's six. That's five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. And let's take it back into our Superman. So we're going to lengthen and lift. Lower. Return. Remember, you can have the weights in your hands. You can have a fitness band around your legs to give yourself that bit more resistance if you want to. Take it long. Shift it up. That's three. This is four. And four. And five. And last one on the side, five. Fab is bringing the forearms down to the floor. Okay, from here, we're going to take the left foot, we're going to flex it, and then we're going to keep that right angle in behind the knee and press that sole up to the ceiling. Okay, so a donkey kick up to the ceiling. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, bring it all the way back in. Let's take it to the other side. Flex the foot, press the sole to ceiling, and lift up for 10. Nine, hips are facing the floor. We're not arching that back. And five, four, three, two, one, bring it all the way back in. Bring yourself back up onto that tabletop position. Reconnecting, and let's take our superman our extensions again. Lengthen and lift. Lower and return. Take it through. Breathing it through. Four and four. Five and five. Brilliant. We're going to take it now back into the arms. So we're going to bring the left forearm down, the right forearm down, 
press up with the left hand, press up with the right hand. We're taking it down, down, up, up. Okay, but we're not rocking backwards and forwards with the hips. Hips are staying above the knees, nice and still. It's just the upper body coming down and up. So down, down, up, up. Brilliant. We've got 10. Keeping it through, pressing it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fabulous, bring those hands back. Let's connect, re engage, take our superman. Let's lengthen and lift, lower and return. Breathing it through. Lengthen and lift. Three. And three. And four. And four. Five. And five. Fabulous. Okay, don't think we're taking it back into the arm. So whichever arm you led with down last time. We're going to take it to the other side. So the other side comes down first and comes up first. And we've got 10. Lower body setting concrete. You're pressing up through that palm as you come upwards. We're working through those arms. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, brilliant, bring it all the way up. Let's sink it back into child's pose. Take it all the way back. Four arms are out long, arms are out long, and you're just going to circle through those wrists one way and the other. Slipping them through. And then placing the hands to the ground, but keeping the hands about that width apart. Okie dokie. Forehead is on the ground. We're going to lift the left hand off the ground, press the right hand down into the ground and release and take it to the other side one hand presses down one hand lifts up two centimeters not a big dip lift we're working into those little muscles behind the backs of the shoulder blades and also into the top of the shoulders breathing it through pressing down and lifting up alternating side to side brilliant one more each side Bring the hands all the way down. Let's inhale, bring it all the way back up into our tabletop. Fabulous. We're going to release the forearms down to the ground. We're going to extend the left leg all the way out long. Okay. We're not arching through the back. We're not stepping. We've got that connection. We're going to take that foot. We're going to lift it up into the air. We're going to tap it down to the other side of that leg. Lift it up. Tap it down. So we're forming that triangle. Up and down, up and across, forming that triangle. Fabulous. Take it side to side, keep going, go. Keep it moving. Up and over, up and over. One more each way. Fabulous, bring that knee all the way back in and let's take it to the other side. So we can send the other leg out long. Our pelvis is nice and strong. We're going to lift that heel up and tap it down. Lift it up, tap it over. Forming that nice triangle. Tap down to one side and up and over to the other. Five, five, four, four, three. Three, two, two, last one, one, and one. Bring both knees in, big toes together, take the knees wide, and let's sink it all the way back into that child's pose. Take the pressure off. Fabulous. Let's inhale, bring it back into that tabletop position. Okie dokie, from here, we're gonna lengthen the left leg all the way out behind. We can keep the toe on the floor if you want to, or we can have it up in the air. We've got that connection. We're going to draw our dinner plates. We've got six dinner plates. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Take it in reverse and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. And bring that knee all the way in. Let's reset, race, engage, lengthen the leg long. And let's take our dinner plate. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And reverse, and six, five, four, three, two, one. And bring it all the way in, brilliant. We're gonna take it. From here, we're going to tuck the toes all the way underneath. Okay, and you're just going to sit back on your heels and just circle those wrists for a second. Take any pressure out of those wrists. One way, and then the other. And then we're going to come back. Hands are on the mat, the toes are tucked. We're going to inhale, exhale, and we're going to hover those knees two centimeters off the floor. The back is long. The back of the neck, somebody's pulling up on your neck. Okay, but the head stays face on the floor. Brilliant, we've got 15 more seconds. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. We've got five more seconds here, gang. And bring those knees all the way down. Brilliant. Just circling out those wrists. That's fabulous. From here, we're going to take it to the side. So I'm going to come this way. We're going to bring our hands to the side of our head. So option one. Grabbing hold of the cushion, place some cushion between the knees, okie dokie, and we're going to squeeze into the knees, okay, and we're going to take it sideways. Option two, lose the ball, take the leg out long, okie dokie, hands to the side. Choose what feels good for you, okay, let's take it over. Exhale, bring it up for ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant. From here, we're going to take that hand to the ground. The other hand can rest on the hip and go straight up in the air. Remember, you can always put cushions under this foot. We're going to lift that leg up in the air. Fabulous. You're going to kick it forward and kick it back, but the pelvis isn't moving. You're going to take it forward and back. Take it forward, bring it back. Brilliant, kicking it forward and back. Three and four and five and six. We've got two more and seven. Last one and eight. Brilliant. Bring those hips down to the ground. Fabulous. And the hand that's on the ground, we're going to take it all the way over and just stretch through that side. Brilliant. Most marvellous. Let's take it to the other side. So options. Ball between the knee. Or we're going to take that leg out long, hands to the side. Okay, so a brace we've engaged. Let's take it over and bring it up for 10. Keep going, gang. I'm just going to put you onto a permanent lead, so you're just keeping going. Keep going, keep going. Fabulous. Oops. That should be okay. All right, fabulous. Keep going. Oops, I've done that side. It's that side. Two. And one, fabulous, bring that hand all the way down to the floor. Okie dokie, let's lift this top leg and let's kick it forward and then kick it back. Hips don't move, kick it forward, kick it back. Brilliant, two, two, and three, and three, and four, and four, and five, and five, and six, six, two more, seven, Seven, last one, eight, and eight, and bring it all the way down, and let's stretch it all the way over, stretching through that side. Brilliant. Let's bring ourselves 
onto our tail feathers. So if you want to use your weights, feel free to grab them. Now's a good time to do it. Place those cushions between the knees and let's take those arms out long in front. We've got our first bow and arrow. Let's bring it back and forward. So think about really pulling back on that bowstring. So we're getting that rotation. Now, how far you lean back, that depends on how happy your back is. Fabulous. And four. And four. And five. And five. Fabulous. From here, we take the arms out in front. We're going to inhale, exhale, bring the left leg off the floor. And we're going to bring the right leg to join. We're breathing it through for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, bring the left foot down, bring the right foot down. So imagine you've got hold of a great big heavy weight or you've got your, your own weight, but you press it between your hands. So option one, you're holding your heavy weight, imaginary weight between the two palms or you've pressed your weight between your two palms. Okay, we're gonna to rotate to the left and to the right. Take it over and over, taking it across. Exhale as you take it round. And four, and four, and five, and five. Brilliant. We're going to take it back up into that boat position. Remember, you can always support yourself down on your forearms, or you can come down to lying on the floor if that's better for you. Let's inhale, exhale, bring the left leg off the floor, the right leg to join it, and we're breathing it through. For 10, nine, eight, chest is lifted. Shoulders are down and relaxed. Three, Two, one, let's hug those knees all the way in and let's take those legs long, take the arms straight up in the air and let's stretch it all the way forward. Fabulous. And let's slide those feet all the way up. Taking the arms wide, okay? We're gonna take it behind, tap behind. Exhale to bring yourself back up. Fabulous. If this has become lemon squeezy for you, you can always do it with weights in your arms. Just be careful. It can be a bit of a strain on your neck. Or you could do it with your feet up in the air from both. I think turning around and tapping behind is about as much generosity as I want to do tonight. Four and four and five. And for our fabulous, let's take it back into our boat. So let's inhale, exhale, bring the left leg up, the right leg to join it. We're breathing it through. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Replacing the feet, taking them along. Let's stretch it all the way up and stretch it all the way forward. And let's slide it all the way back up. Brilliant. From here, we're gonna bring our fingertips behind us and then we're gonna turn them so they're facing the wall behind, okay? So the fingertips are facing the wall behind us, okay? Feet are about hip distance apart. You're squeezing onto your cushion if you have one or outwards into your band if you're wearing a band. Let's inhale, exhale, bring ourselves all the way up into that table position. Now don't lock out your arms. Okay, so we're in a straight line from knee to hip to shoulders. Brilliant. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's bring it all the way down. Fabulous. And let's bring these hands forward, just circle them around. We've got choices now. We're either going to come back up into that boat position or we're going to row the boat. So let's inhale, exhale, bring the left leg up, right leg to join it. Option one, we stay still. Option two, we're going to lengthen it long and bring it back up. Take it long and up. Breathe it through. 
stop it yet. Then you said you need to have a drink of water. Take a breather. And five. And four. And three. And two. Last one. And one. Brilliant. And everybody's going to take their legs down, take them long, and let's reach the sky. And then let's stretch it all the way forward. Okie dokie. Final strenuous thing, and then we're going to come down onto our backs. We're going to turn our hands either at to sort of three o'clock, nine o'clock, or eight o'clock, sort of four o'clock ish. So see what feels good for your hands. Option one. Actually, come down to your forearms, and as we exhale, we're just going to lift our hips off the floor. Okay, up the facing plank. Option two, hands come to that position that feels right for you, and we're going to bring ourselves up. Okay, choose what was going to work for you. Let's inhale, exhale, brace, engage, lift those hips high. If you want to, you can always step a foot in, I do with the other leg, you can see, and just take some new weight through that leg if that makes it feel more comfortable for you. Breathing it through. We've got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and bring it all the way down. Fabulous. Let's take those arms across our chest. Okay, both feet are up. Options, if your back has had enough by now, we can always bring ourselves down onto the floor and you can do this lengthen, lift, lower, return. Or option two, we're going to lengthen, lift, lower, return. So choose what works for you. We've got 10 in total, five each side. Let's take it long. Lift it up, lower it down, and return. So although we're stretching it out long, we're hovering it off the ground. Only replace that foot down as it comes back in. So it's exactly the same thing we've done lying down. So thinking about not collapsing through the lower back, the chest is lifted. Take it long, and up and down, and replace to the other side, long and lift, and lower. Replace one more on the side, long and lift, lower. Replace, long, lift, lower. Replace, fabulous. And let's bring ourselves all the way down onto our backs. Bring those arms down by our side. Have your hand, um, your weights to hand if you want to use them in a minute. But first, let's check out how the back's feeling. Let's inhale, exhale. Curl those tail feathers all the way up and off the ground. And then bring them all the way down. And again, let's inhale, exhale, curl them all the way up. Check out that back. How is it feeling? Inhale, brings it all the way down. Fabulous. From here, option one, we're gonna keep our arms down by our side, exactly there. Option two, you're gonna take your arms all the way overhead and hover them two centimeters off the ground. From here, everybody's legs, one leg, left leg is gonna extend out long. You're gonna lift it up, you're gonna lower it down and replace, take it to the other side. Lengthen, lift, lower, Return, but the back isn't moving. Then lift, lower, return. Lengthen, lift, lower, return. Just breathing it through. Check as you lift that leg that you're not swinging into that pelvis. It's the leg that's lifting, not the pelvis which is tilting. And one more each side, lengthen, lift. Lower, return, lengthen, lift, lower, return, and let's hug everything in. Hugging the knees all the way into the chest, a little circle one way, and a little circle the other way. Fabulous. Options here, we can either take both feet to the floor, or the next time we exhale, we can take the left leg to the floor. Sorry, the left leg's 90 degrees, the right leg to join it. 
Okay, we're going to bring our arms down by our sides, our thumbs facing the ceiling. You can hold on to your weights for this if you wish. As we exhale, we're going to take those thumbs all the way up overhead. As we inhale, we're going to create angel wings with the backs of our hands around, all the way around and down to the seams of our trousers. Exhale, we take it all the way up and over. Inhale, take it round. Take it over. Now think about that back. The back's not moving. Tummy's not changing shape. Take those arms over. Take them round. Two more, take it over. Take it round. One more, take it over. Take it all the way round. And this time, hug those knees all the way in. Circle them around one way. And then the other. Really bring the left foot to the floor. Bring the right foot to the floor. Let's inhale, exhale, curl ourselves up into that bridge position. Making sure we're pressing equally into big toes, heels. Okay, option one, we can stay here, breathing it through. Option two, we're gonna repeat those angel wing arms, but from this lifted position. As we exhale, we're gonna take the arms all the way up and overhead. Inhale, create those angel wings all the way around. Exhale, we take it over. Inhale, we take it around. Got three more. Keeping that pressure into the toes and the heels. Two more. Take it up. Take it right up. Take it over. And take it all the way round as we bring it round. Let's curl that spine all the way down to the ground and let's hug those knees all the way in. We'll circle one way and then the other. Fabulous. We get, we've got options now feet to the floor, or the next time we exhale, we're going to take the left leg to nice squeeze, the right leg to join it, take these arms up in the air. We've got our first set of dead bones, opposite arm, opposite leg, all length of the way. And we're back in. Think about that spine. Think about that tummy. Is the neck arching? Is the neck nice and long and soft? Brilliant. Two more each side. Fabulous, hug everything all the way back in. And circle one way and the other. And let's replace the left foot to the floor, the right foot to the floor, the arms down by our sides. Let's inhale, exhale, bring yourselves up into that bridge position. Option one, we stay here, we don't move. Option two, we're going to march it through. Left leg comes up and then the right. Okay, stay nice and level. Just marching, lifting. And lowering. Okay, just having a think, have you tensed up your face? Can you give your face a bit of a wiggle? So we're not holding masses of tension in the jaw and the neck. And we're breathing at three. We've got two more on each leg. One more on this side. And one more on this side, bring that foot to the floor, curling that spine all the way down. Fabulous. From here, let's inhale, exhale, bring the left leg off the floor, the right leg to join the arm straight up in the air. If you want to, return your feet to the floor for our second set of dead bolts. Let's lengthen away. Bring back up. Keep going, gang. When I say keep going, stopping, of course, with a glass of water or a pause if you need to. 
three, and three, and four, and four, and five, and five. And let's hug it all the way back in. So go on one way and round the other. Let's take the left foot to the floor. Let's take the right foot to the floor. The arms are down both sides. Let's inhale, exhale, curl those toe feathers off the floor into that bridge position. Making sure we're not coming up onto our neck, we're still on our shoulders, our heels, and our toes. Fabulous. From here, option one, we're going to stay here. Option two, you're going to take the left leg of your choice. And you're going to stretch it straight up in the air, toe towards the ceiling. Hips are nice and leg off. We're breathing it through for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring that foot down, bring those hips high. Let's reset and take it to the other side. Take the other leg up in the air. Just noticing how different one side feels to the other. Which side the hip dips more, which side we can get the leg higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring that foot down, curl that spine all the way down to the ground. Fabulous. We've got our final set of dead bugs. So let's inhale, exhale, take the left leg to 90 degrees, right there to join it, arms straight up in the air. Okie dokie, set to 10, five each side. Let's exhale, lengthen, inhale, repeat. Thinking about your form. And remember, if you start to get tired, slide your feet along the floor. Or lose either the legs or the arms. Three. And four. And four. Looking good, everyone. Five. And five. And let's hug it all the way in. Brilliant. If you've got your cushion, I might just throw my ball all the way over there. Let's grab those cushions again. And let's take it into our windscreen wipers. So feet on the floor, or we're going to take the left leg to nice degrees. We're going to take the right leg to join it. And let's inhale, take it over to the side. Let's take that pause before we bring it all the way back up. Keeping those shoulders on the floor. Squeezing into that cushion. Or if it's a band, you're pressing outwards with both legs into that band. So it works a slightly different set of the muscles, particularly to hip flexors, but it works them. Take it over. This is three. And three. And four. And four. Fabulous, hug those knees all the way in. And let's take the left leg straight up in the air and let's take the right leg to join it. Forming that diamond just underneath your tail feathers, that makes it feel more comfortable. Remember, you can hold the backs of your legs, the front of your leg into your choice, but we're going to cross the ankles one over the other with our toes pointed. And I'm looking at the timer, how we're going to do 20 seconds, toes pointed, and then we're going to do 20 seconds. Toes flexed, you're halfway there of the toes pointed. Keep going. My legs aren't moving very fast tonight. <laughs> In fact, they're moving pathetically slowly, but that's okay. Flex the feet and cross the ankles over. Keep going, go. Halfway through.
Brilliant, hug the knees all the way in, keep hold of the left leg, let's extend the right leg all the way out. And let's bring it all the way back in, let's take it to the other side. And again. Don't know about you lot, but my eyes have been so itchy today. I'm assuming it must be a pollen. I've been cutting a lot of the fields around here, so I'm assuming something's irritating them. Bring them all the way in. Fabulous, we've got another set of windscreen wipers. So placing that cushion between the knees or the lower legs. Okay, arms wide. So feet on the floor or off the floor to 90 degrees, your choice. Let's inhale, take it over. Exhale, engage, bring it back up. And this is three. And this is three. And four. And four. The last one each side. And the last one this side. Fabulous, let's hug it all the way in. Brilliant. Then circle around one way. And a little circle around the other way. Brilliant. If you want to, place those weights behind the backs of the knees, feel free to do so. We've got our first set of toe taps. So tapping down the left, pausing at the bottom, and bring it all the way back up. So we're pressing through treacle to get that toe to the floor, and then bring it up. So it's really slow now. And bring it all the way back up. Fabulous. Two. And two. And three. And three. And four. And four, last one each side, five, and five. Brilliant. From here, we've got choices. Now we can either repeat exactly that, or we're going to take a curtsy with that tap under. So the leg is going to tap under, but to the other side. So almost like we're curtsying that leg and bring it back up. Exhale, tap it down and bring it up. Good tapping it through and bring it up. Fabulous. Two. And this is three. And this is three. And this is four. And four. And five. Doing brilliantly, ladies. Keep going. And five. You've got two more, and six, and six, and seven, last one on this side, and seven, fabulous. Let's lose those weights, hug the knees all the way in, let's keep on the left leg, extend the right leg all the way out long. And let's take it to the other side, hug the other knee in, extend the leg out long. Fabulous, one more each side. Brilliant. Okie dokie, from here, we're gonna take both legs all the way up in the air. Okay, forming that diamond behind the backs of the tail feathers, if that feels comfortable. You're gonna take your cushion and you're gonna place your cushion between your ankles. Okay, so your cushion's between your ankles, okay? So you're going to do a tiny circle with your feet, squeezing hold of this cushion. So the circle is about the size of a teacup. That's how small the circle is. So you're just circling around five, four, three, two, one, and reverse, and five, and four, and three, and two, last one, and one, brilliant. And bring those knees all the way in. 
Fabulous. Okie dokie. Let's take the feet to the floor, take the arms wide. Let's take the knees all the way over to the left, the gaze over to the right. Take a little stretch through the center of the body. And let's bring those knees all the way back up and let's take it over to the other side. And bring it all the way up. And let's roll over onto our left hand side. Okie dokie. And we're going to start with a plank. We're going to get the plank out of the way first. Okay, option one, both knees to the ground, bottom hip stays on the ground, and we take the arm up the air, and we've just got that intention through the waist, but we keep the hip grounded. Option two, one leg out, and we're going to lift. Okay, option three, we're going to take the top leg up in the air. Okie dokie. So one leg's out long and lifted, and the arms up. And we've got 30 seconds starting now. Breathing it through. Fabulous. Halfway there. Keep that hip lifted if you've got it off the ground. Think about lifting it towards the sky. And release it all the way down to the ground. Fabulous. Let's take the arms leg long, the legs long. Okie dokie. We've got our up and over. So let's take it all the way up and over. 10, 9, 8, 7. Remember, you can take your legs forward if that feels more comfortable and just work your upper body. Or you can choose just to do either your upper body or your lower body. But make sure we're not arching that back. 7, and 6. And five, and four, and three, and two, last one, and one. Brilliant. Taking our legs forward to 45 degrees. Okie dokie. It's this top leg we're focusing on. We're kicking it forward, and then we're taking it back to straight. Kicking it forward as though you're kicking the person in front of you if you were lying back in class, but we're not. Kick it forward. Almost like you're kicking the cat, kicking the dog. Take it back. Take it all the way forward. And bring it back. Hips aren't moving. We've got four more. Take it forward. Bring it back. Two more. Take it forward. Bring it back. One more. Take it forward. Ooh. And bring it all the way back. Fabulous. Take the legs, both legs long, taking the arms over the head or one hand in front to support. We're going to inhale, exhale, lift both legs off the floor, and then we're lifting that top leg off the bottom leg. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. And one, brilliant. From here, let's take it into our three-point clams, sliding the heels all the way in. Let's lift the heels, open the legs, extend the leg, back together, close together, and down. So up, open, extend, together, together, and down. Trying to keep those hips really still. So it's the leg that's moving around in the hip socket, not the pelvis rolling backwards and forwards. We've got five more. Five. And that's number four. Keep going, gang. That's three. Oh, my legs are telling me about this one. And this is two. And that's one. Brilliant. And let's roll it all the way over onto our tummies. Arms are long, legs are long. Have a wiggle. Brilliant. Let's circle the knickers down. And let's lift and lengthen opposite arm, opposite leg. Here. And then lower swimmers. The more you press the lower part of your knickers down into the ground, 
the more that you're actually stabilizing your pelvis and you're tilting it slightly, which means it's taking the pressure off the lumbar area of your lower back. And it also means you can't swing the leg high. You've actually got to lift the leg up using those hamstrings instead of tilting the pelvis and throwing the leg up. Four and four and five. Last one this side. And five, release it all the way down, have a little wiggle. And let's bring it up into our cobra sphinx, whatever works for us. Stretching that tummy forward, let the shoulder blades slide back and down. Brilliant. And from here, let's roll it all the way over to our other side. And we've got our planks to begin with. Okie dokie, so either on the knee with just the intention of lifting but keeping that hip down, or one leg out, lifted, or we're going to take it one leg out and the whole leg is lifted off the floor. Okay, we've got our 30 seconds starting now. Just breathing it through. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. And bring it all the way down and let's take ourselves along. Arms all the way over the head, legs out long. Okay, and let's take our up and over, it's all the way up and over. For 10, nine. If you want to stand there and wave, Philippa, darling, you have to come in and do as well. Um, oh, that's got rid of the child quite quickly there. And six. And five. And four. Really squeeze at the top and pause. Three. Two. Last one. Our one and release it all the way down. Fabulous. Let's take those legs forward to 45 degrees. Okay, and it's that top leg we're interested in. So keeping it parallel to the floor, we're going to kick it all the way forward and then we're going to take it back behind. But the hip isn't moving, it's this leg that's moving. So we're not tilting the pelvis to get the leg forward or back. Everything is stabilizing. And take it all the way back. Brilliant, we've got four more. Take it forward. Bring it back. Three more, take it forward. Bring it back, brilliant. Two more, take it forward. Bring it back, final one, take it all the way forward. And bring it all the way back. Yes, brilliant. Okay, take the legs long, take the arms all the way overhead. Okay, let's inhale, exhale, lift both legs off the floor, and let's lift that top leg off the bottom leg. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's bring the heels all the way in, take the knees out in front, and we've got our three point plans. So heels up. Open the knees, extend the legs, heels together, knees together, feet down. Breathing it through. Looking good, everyone. Got four more. Open, open, lengthen, out, together, down. Fabulous gang. Brilliant. And the last one. Up, open, lengthen, together, together, and down. Fabulous. And let's take it, roll it all the way over on those tummies again. Take the arms out. And then bring them all the way down by our sides. Okie dokie. I'm going to inhale, exhale, lift everything off the ground. And release it back like down. Fabulous. 
Bring those shoulder blades together and down, away from the fingertips towards the heels and lift the toes away from the body. And three. And two. And last one. And one. And release it all the way down. Brilliant. Let's tuck those toes underneath. Let's inhale, exhale, and lift ourselves up into all fours. Back in up into tabletop position. And let's gently arch the back and let's take it all the way through. Which is moving all the way up and all the way through. Back in there, two more. And last one, take it all the way up. And then all the way through, fabulous. And from here, we're going to come up into high plank. So option one, you can keep a knee to the ground. Option two, we can extend the left leg all the way behind. So option one, you can stay here exactly here. Option two, you can take the leg out behind. Okie dokie, unlock the elbows. Long lean from knee to hip to shoulder. Okie dokie, from here, we're going to step the left leg out. The right leg out, and then we're going to step them back together. We're going to step them out and step them in, and step them out and step them in. Final time, take them out and bring them in, and bring the knees all the way down, untuck the toes, and send it all the way back into that child's pose. Arms are stretched all the way out in front. Brilliant, let's inhale, bring ourselves back up to the tabletop. Let's tuck those toes underneath. Inhale, exhale, take it up into that downward dog. Just marching it through. If downward dog does not work for you, then you're on all fours. You're just going to extend one leg out long and rock backwards and forwards. If we're in downward dog, we're marching it through, making sure the feet are hip distance apart. And then if you're on all fours, you're swapping to the other leg and we're keeping marching. Brilliant. Five. Four, three, two, and one. And everybody's going to bring their knees back down to the ground. We're going to swivel over onto our tail feathers and bring the soles of our feet together. Letting the knees drop out to the side. Fabulous. Sitting up nice and tall. Then we're going to take those legs long. Let's inhale, reach up to the sky. And I'm going to exhale, take it all the way forward. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Let's interlace those fingers, reach up for the skirt. Fabulous. And let's exhale, bring one hand down to the ground, stretching over to one side. And let's bring it up and over to the other side. Fabulous, bring it all the way up. And then, thank you very much for joining me this hot and sweaty night. I'll see some of you tomorrow, some of you later in the week, and some of you next week sometime. Take care, gang. Bye.